Have you ever had a moment where you realize something isn't right? Something doesn't fit? Have you ever thought you saw something terrible, so terrible it's unexplainable, and it tears down your very mind? Have you ever thought that maybe all we see is a dreamy illusion to hide us from the inert sorrow and misery of pure reality, that our very existence is cloaked in a shield of dreams and wishes, and fairy tales you wish to come true? <laughs> well, maybe there's a reason prayers are never answered, wishes are never granted, and dreams never come true. I had a fairly average life, well, as normal as it could get growing up in a family like mine. You see, my father was a bishop and my mother was a psychologist, so there were many disagreements when they were talking. Growing up, I was caught up in this debate, with my father lecturing me about the tradition of God and my mother giving me the ideas of what works the mind, what keeps us thinking and how particular different people don't fit in with us. She would describe these different people as mentally impaired. So, being the little child that I was, I was keen on thinking. I'd sometimes spend days just sitting down and thinking, wondering, theorizing. I began to think, what if religion and mental state were interlinked. What if we were all insane? We were all mentally impaired. But these different people knew more than us. I began to question reality. What if we dreamed to hide ourselves from whatever cruel reality exists? What if we create aspirations to distract ourselves from day-to-day -day torture? Perhaps even God was a shield used to give us hope against the inevitability of reality. Maybe reality was too much for a healthy mind to comprehend. Perhaps those who took even a glimpse of it could never be the same. I don't see insane people as insane. No, I see them as people who know more than you and I could ever hope to comprehend. Maybe they took a look too deeply into what makes us exist. Maybe they thought too hard and the cruel, tortured fate that awaited them soon came to pass. Maybe we distract ourselves too much, and we never got to see the real point. Maybe none of us know just how incredible it is being insane. I'd kill to look inside an insane person's mind, to see the cogs that work up there, to see how they think. And that's exactly what I did. Some people would call my occupation criminal. I see it as biology without license. If nobody will donate me bodies, I'll take them. Simple. I don't feel any regret. I don't feel sorry. And why should I? Of course, many years have passed since my childish thoughts of questioning reality, but that just made them develop. The more I ignored them, the more I had to think about them. The question still stands. What makes us think? And why do we think differently? My theory still stands. It's reality and different perspectives of it. Some have seen more, twisting them into vile, horrific, tortured creatures. Some seen so much it makes them criminally insane. Unfortunately here, the kindest people are most likely the least informed of the world around us. If only people would see my reason and peek into what makes us who we are, and why we're here. You're going a bit far, don't you think? My parents would lecture me about this thought as I explained to them my plan. I warned them it was fruitless to try and stop me. They didn't heed, and hence, why I dissected them in a gruesome manner as any of my other victims. Oh, victims. It's such a harsh word for this case. I prefer to call them sacrifices. It sounds much more appropriate to what I'm doing here. 
And, just like sacrifices, they die in the worst way possible. Of course, if I'm studying consciousness, what's the use of dissecting a dead brain? It's much better to keep them alive, hear their oh-so-sweet tortured screams I rip their brains apart, desperate to find my answer. Years have passed with no regret. I found what I was looking for, but it wasn't in any of my sacrifices. I realized I had become what I was so fascinated about. Perhaps I should have looked inside myself, perhaps to see the mind of an insane person. All I had to do was look inside myself. Perhaps if I did, all my fellow asylum inmates wouldn't be dead. My parents, they turn in their grave at me. But I don't care. I found what I needed through whatever means that were needed. To all those who spit on me, who view me as lesser, remember that we're all the same. We're all human. And no matter how many times you lie to yourself, you're exactly the same as me.